At times, we might have to select values from multiple columns conditionally. We can use case and when for that. Even with respect to dealing with nulls, we should be able to leverage case and when instead of coalesce the way we have seen as part of the previous topic. We will see how to rewrite that coalesce logic using case and when when we get into the details. Let us implement this conditional logic to come up with derived order status. With respect to orders table, there are four columns. One of them is nothing but order status. It have nine distinct values. Out of those nine distinct values, two of them are nothing but complete or closed. If order status is one of the complete or closed, we want to change it to completed. If the order status have pending in it, then we will say pending. If order status have processing or payment review in it, then also we will say pending. For rest of the others, we just want to set it as other. So finally, out of these nine values, we want to group them into three completed, pending and other. We should be able to use case and when for these kind of scenarios. When it comes to case and when, we also have else to actually come up with the logic where none of the conditions satisfy. Let's load the SQL magic. Let's create this environment variable called as database underscore URL. Let's drop the table sales. Let's create it and insert these five records into it. You can also preview the data. Earlier we have used coalesce to actually change this uh, none to zero to multiply with sales and get commission amount as zero. Now I am using case when approach. This is how it will look like. Case when commission percentage is not null. Round off sales amount multiplied by commission percentage divided by 100 comma 2 which will give us the actual sales amount based upon the commission percentage. However, if commission percentage is null then it will go to the else part. We are just returning zero. Now you should be able to run this and you can see the output here. For sales amount 1000 with commission percentage 10, the commission amount is 100. With sales amount being 1500, commission percent being 8, it is 120, so and so forth. With sales amount 500, commission percentage null, we are returning zero here. Same is the case with sales person 85 where sales amount is 250 but no commission percentage. Now let's get the distinct order statuses from orders. You can see there are nine of them. Let me actually use order by here so that all of us get in the same order. You can see the output here. Now if it is complete or closed, we want to change it to completed. If it is pending or payment review, pending payment, processing, etc. It should be pending. If it is on hold, suspected fraud, etc. It should be other. Even cancel should go to the other. Now this is how we can actually derive complete or closed to completed. You can see the output here. If it is complete or closed, it is changed to completed. However, for all the other values, it is returning none. If you don't want to return null or none, instead if you just want to say other or something, you can use else directly like this. So in this case, for all the other values, we are just getting the existing values, which is nothing but order status. And you can see here, for complete or closed, it is completed. For others, whatever we have in order status, is being uh, returned because as part of else we have order status. If you want to change it to other you can actually say other here for all other values it will be other. Now this one will actually take care of uh, converting all the order statuses with pending in them to pending. So we can leverage the operators such as like and we can say percent pending percent like this then we can actually say then pending. With respect to complete or closed, we can use in operator like this. We have already ran this earlier also. So order status in complete or closed, then completed. Order status like pending, then pending. When it comes to pending, we have percentages. With respect to Postgres, there is also a special syntax called as tilde like this. You can leverage that also and you should be able to get the pending for any of the order statuses which have pending in them. You can see the output here. As pending payment have pending, we are seeing pending here. When it comes to processing, it is other. Again, pending payment is pending, pending payment is pending. Complete or closed, it's completed. So either you can use tilde like this or like operator with percentage before pending and after pending to derive any of the strings which have pending in them to pending. Now, with respect to the third statement as part of our requirement, which is nothing but if order status have processing or payment review in it, then also we want to say pending. And this is how the logic will look like. So you can say order status like pending or tilde pending or order status in processing comma payment review. Even in those scenarios, we want to convert to pending. However, we do not have the data here, but we'll see in a moment with distinct after solving the next requirement also, which is nothing but 
for all others uh, it is just other it is already taken care as part of the else so we don't need to worry too much about it now if you just want to make sure that all the statuses are derived as expected we can say distinct order status then the logic which says updated order status and it only return nine values because we have only nine distinct order statuses and you can actually see the output here for closed it is completed for complete it is completed for suspected fraud cancelled on hold it is other for pending and pending payment where there is pending in them it is pending for payment review and processing it is also pending this is how you should be able to develop conditionals using case and when case and when is one of the most important thing which you need to understand while writing the queries it will solve lot of problems with ease because writing conditionals is very common with respect to processing our data while writing the queries hence make sure you have enough comfort level with respect to case and when